welcome to another love reading of yours. This is Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is going to be a timeless reading. So when you see it is when you meant to watch it. Time is fluid as you know guys. You could have dealt with this energy or will be dealing with in the near future. Some of the energies of the cards here can be flipped. So feel free to switch those energies vice versa. If you do need a personal reading, that information is going to be down below. So we have the page of wands in the past here. Okay, you could have started something new, all right? This could be new, a new relationship, new communication, whatever. But it was something that you were very, very passionate about with the page of wands here, okay? But I think in the current situation with the Empress in reverse here, either there's a situation, one of you is not feeling the connection enough or one of you is not nurturing the connection enough and that's why there is a lack of growth and expansion within the situation, okay? Could be a very codependent relationship. But yeah, there is a lack of growth and expansion here. It could be something very, very new. And right now you're very disappointed with the situation. Definitely to do something, you could be having history with this person, okay? Because the Five of Cups is crying over situation, crying over a situation that happened in the past, all right? So yeah, it doesn't look very, very brand new to me, but yeah, could be an ex, could be someone that you're uh, dealing with and you have history with, again, like I said. What is on this person's mind is the lovers in reverse, okay? So I feel that this person is not wanting to make a decision, okay? This person could have had to uh, make a decision between two people, okay? Or this person is just feeling very, very disconnected. Or I'm getting that there's one person here who's more emotionally involved than the other person, okay? The, the connection is not being felt mutually is what I'm getting right now. And that's what's on this person's mind. They see you as the Knight of Wands here, okay? So they see you as someone, you know, who's could be clear, but otherwise it could be someone who they see you as someone who likes to live the moment, okay? You like to live in the moment, you don't like to be tied down, they look at you as a player, they look at you as someone who just likes to come in, get what they want and leave, okay? Because knights are travelers, right? They could be seeing you as someone who comes in and out of their life, okay? At their own convenience. Uh, what is going on in this person's emotions at the four of wands in reverse, okay? So you could be dealing with someone who is not happy uh, in a commitment or not or wanting to end a long-term relationship or someone who's wanting to end a marriage is what I'm getting. And probably it could be that that's why this person is not wanting to keep this connection right now because this person is quote dependent on something or someone. You could be dealing with a mother, the empress is a motherly, it's a wife. So yeah, and this person is probably not making a choice, which is again disappointing you, okay? But this person again, this could be someone, uh, they, they could be seeing you as uh, someone who's again, you know, who just comes in when they want and they leave, or they're just viewing as someone who's just very passionate about them. Again, on this person's mind is the four of wands in reverse, which is they want to shut the door on a long-term commitment, or they just want to shut the door on a marriage. Could be involving kids. Or they just don't see this situation as holding a lot of stability and security, okay? How this person wants to move forward with you, I think this person is holding on to a decision. They know they need to make a decision, but I think with the two of wands in reverse here, this person is either trying to keep safe, they're trying to be on a safer corner and trying to make a safer decision, or they're just holding on, uh, they're just holding off from making a decision. What's going on behind the scenes is that either you want a reconciliation and this person wants a reconciliation or this person is trying to get over a lot of heartbreak and emotional trauma. This person is trying to heal from uh, some separation or breakup or heartache that they've been going through, okay? I'm still not getting that this person is into you. I'm getting this person is, get, is already dealing with a situation that has nothing to do with you. And this person is already going through a lot of shit right now. On your advice is the Ten of Wands in reverse. It's almost like this burden is not for you to carry, so you need to release this burden. It could be that you're really invested into this person, you really want something stable with this person, but it's draining you out, okay? The situation is draining you out a lot, and you need to release this burden. You don't have to hold on to this if it's weighing you down or if it's overwhelming, because what I'm getting. And with the Six of Wands in reverse here, yeah, see? This is where someone's just not wanting to put in the effort to move things forward, okay? This is a lack of success. Something's just not going to be uh, a, be successful is what I'm getting. Something's going to fail. Things are not going to move forward with this person, okay? Let's see. Why the Five of Cups here as the overall energy for Cancer? Mm. 
you want to rush in and you want this person to make a decision, okay? Or it could be that there was some rash communication, someone just lashed out with the Knight of Swords here. And with the judgment here, there could have been a final decision that was made. What is the Knight of Swords here? I, I'm getting someone could have lashed out, which led to a huge disappointment for you. What is the Knight of Swords here? There could have been some argument between you guys.
could be wanting something very, very stable with you, okay, with the Ace of Pentacles here. But <clears throat> they have huge trust issues. I'm getting that this person was burnt in the past and now they're trying to run away from this situation, okay. They're trying to escape this situation as much as they can. They're trying to sneak away. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why do they see Cancer as the Knight of Wands? Yeah, they see you as someone slow moving, okay? they see you as someone, you know, who lives the moment, you're fun loving, you know, they see you as someone who likes to live life, etc. But again, with the Knight of Pentacles, I think this person sees you as someone who's very, very slow moving when it comes to stability, okay? You're taking baby steps towards this person is what I'm getting. Or it could be this person who sees you as this and that's why they're, that's why they're wanting to take slow steps towards you because they don't trust you again, is what I'm getting. Because the Knight of Wands is someone, again, very unreliable, okay? They come in and out. And of course, this person already has a lot of trust issues, so... Okay, why is the four of wands in reverse on this person's emotions? Yeah, see, this person could have gone through a relationship where there was something that they... Someone... They didn't get what they deserve, is what I'm getting. This person could have been in a very committed relationship, okay, for a very long time. But again, someone could have... Um, cut through them deep, someone could have cheated, they could have lied, someone could have just gone away and now this person is uh, going through an internal transformation, okay? It's like this person is going through a lot and with the six of pentacles in reverse, yeah, I feel that this person is giving you the bare minimum, okay? They don't have more to give and that's what your struggle is because you are very invested into this, you want more but this person is like, this is all I have to give because they're already going through this, okay? Or this person doesn't see that security and stability within this situation, okay? And that's why they're not ready to invest into this right now. Why is the Six of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, this person could have been juggling, but now they see things very, very clearly, okay? With the Two of Pentacles in reverse. This person is almost like needing to make a decision. With the Queen of Pentacles here, I feel, and the Ace of Swords, I feel this person has clarity about the situation, but I feel right now, this person is very focused on themselves. They're not focused on this relationship. They're focused on, on their stability, their growth, and they want to be their own stability. They're not dependent on anyone for stability again. I'm feeling this person is someone who is very practical, very grounded. They're not giving this situation a very emotional approach, whereas you, on the other hand, are giving this an emotional approach, okay? Again, dealing with someone who has huge trust issues. They're failing to recognize this connection is what I'm getting because of the past hurt or past issues. How they want to move forward with you is the two of wands in reverse, okay? So again, they're holding back a decision or they're making a decision about something. Why well, is the two of wands in reverse? Yeah. So they're making a decision. They're making a very final decision with the judgment here. What is the judgment? They're coming out of their head, okay? They're coming out of their head. This person could have kept things stuck and stagnant for a very long time, okay? But with the judgment here, this person is making, either wanting a reconciliation or this person is just wanting to uh, make a decision. And whatever decision they're making, right, they're thinking, it's almost like they're coming back to their senses. They're not living in, uh, stuck in their head anymore. What is the eight of swords in reverse? Yeah. This person is going to probably even communicate with you. Very candid communication, very honest communication, okay? And with the Four of Pentacles in reverse, this person is going to release anything and everything that they are holding back from. Why is the Three of Swords in reverse going on behind the scenes? That's a lot of healing. Why is the Three of Swords in reverse here? See? What did I say? This person's healing from a backstabbing or a betrayal, okay? They're, they're healing from a situation where they felt very backstabbed and betrayed, where it was like an overkill, okay? This person could have gone through hell and they're trying to get out of that. They're trying to heal themselves from the situation. They're no longer wanting to invest or think about a situation that keeps them emotionally stuck, tied and bound, okay? Or anything that's draining them out emotionally, they're trying to get over it. Your advice is the Ten of Wands in reverse. Why is the Ten of Wands in reverse? Why is the, why is the Ten of Wands in reverse? Because there's too much drama between you guys and there's a lot of unknown energy between you guys. Okay, with the moon here, it's almost like there's a lot of fear of the unknown, okay? It's almost like you still don't know where this is leading to. 
So don't take so much stress about the situation that you still don't know where it's heading to, okay? Because the person that you're dealing with could be a Pisces, but this could be someone who's very mysterious, okay? You just don't know a lot about them. You don't know what they're going through, okay? And you're taking the entire responsibility of the situation and you're wanting, you probably even think that everything's happening because of you. But actually, it has nothing to do with you is what I'm getting. And with the five of wands here, you're very conflicted in your head, okay? It's like you're just constantly getting, you're constantly clashing with this person or you're just constantly clashing in your head, okay? Because one side is saying for you to fight for this, you know, and the other side is like, give up, you know? But you should, you should give up. Okay, where's the five of wands here? I think you should take a break from this person with a hermit here, okay? You need uh, you need to do a lot of contemplation and you need to think about where this situation is going, okay? With the three of pentacles here as advice, I feel that you need to focus on yourself and you need to work on yourself built on yourself maybe you are someone who's again the empress in reverse could also be you someone who's very very codependent okay someone who's being very clingy and needy is what i'm getting okay and um so you need to work on yourself is what i'm getting work on your building your foundation work on building your own stability security and growth like this person is doing and don't let this overpower you don't let this overwhelm you because i think this entire situ situation has nothing to do with you. nothing you need to do a lot of soul searching. You need to think a lot about the situation. Like maybe take a break and think about where this is heading. Because I feel the situation is stressing you out a lot more than it is to them. Because they're doing their own part of healing, okay, which has nothing to do with you. Why is the six of wands in reverse as a likely outcome? Again, I feel that there's going to be a break between you guys, okay? There's going to be a point of no communication between you guys. But with the six of wands in reverse, the high priestess in reverse, and the nine of pentacles in reverse, I feel things are not going to move forward because you're try finding it very hard to trust your intuition, okay? You're trusting your logic over your intuition, and with the nine of pentacles in reverse, you're actually you're being very, very clingy and needy. You don't realize your self-worth and value, which is, again, one of the reasons why you're doubting the skills of making this relationship work out. Again, I'm getting a lot of self-doubt from here, okay? So Cancer, this is you or Crosswater. I'm gonna look at this as Cancer. You are very codependent on this relationship. You don't trust yourself. You don't have enough faith that you can make things happen. Or it's just that you are being very codependent on this person. I've said this one a hundred times, but that's what I'm getting everywhere, okay? And that's why you're wanting something from this person, okay? Could be a solid commitment, could be a stable relationship, okay? But this person has their own shit that they're going through, okay? And right now, they're just not ready is what I'm getting. Even if they are, with the Knight of Pentacles, I feel this person's making very slow steps or they're just not even moving towards you. And probably that's what's getting you into that anxiety mode and you're already so invested into this person and this person has trust issues, all right? So you need to hold back, you need to trust yourself, and you need to take things slower, okay? You're probably rushing in things too quick, okay? Trust your intuition and stop being so clingy and needy, okay? Just don't be so codependent. Realize your self-worth, realize your value, realize that you're okay on your own and you don't need anyone to fulfill you, okay? You're whole, you're independent on your own. And yeah, that's what I have for you. Take a break, contemplate on what you're doing and think about it. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.